nice start to our day. We are in for more really pretty weather. It's going to be another mild fall week, but we have issued a Denver 7 weather action day with it being really our first frost, our first freeze close to the metro area this morning. Uh, frost advisory early on. We're going to see a lot of sunshine in 60s though today, so things are going to warm up pretty nice. Right now, 38 in Denver. You can see clear skies. There's going to be a lot of sunshine out there this morning. Winds are coming in out of the southwest at about 5 to 10 miles per hour, and most neighborhoods are right at, if not just maybe one or two degrees above freezing right now. Denver 33, Centennial 34, Erie 31, Golden right now, actually a pretty mild 36, and more 20s to low 30s for the mountains. So here across the entire metro area, this blue, we're under that frost advisory, and then the teal color, a freeze warning covering most of eastern Colorado. And in some cases, that obviously becomes more important for some of the crops and for uh, some of the farmers out east. Right now, looking at 30s, we're going to see temps climb into the mid to upper 40s by about 10 o'clock. By early afternoon, 12 to right around 1 will be at close to 60 degrees. Again, sunny skies, 50s for the mountains today. Highs will be right around 65 here in Denver. Overnight tonight, it's going to get chilly, but not quite as cold tomorrow morning. We'll still see some neighborhoods, mainly in the mid to upper 30s over the northeastern plains. Some upper 30s to low 40s close to Denver. And then tomorrow afternoon, a few degrees warmer. We're in for another beautiful day on Tuesday. In fact, it's pretty nice all week long. In fact, we have 70s in store here starting Wednesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we're in for some pretty warm conditions as we head into the weekend. It's going to get cooler next week with a better chance for some showers. Overnight lows, though, are again, Jason, going to be right around 40 to about 45. So not anticipating another frost advisory tomorrow morning. Well, we